Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Call of Proof yet. This be part two of our Let's Play. In the last episode, you'll remember, we just started the game. It's kind of hard to forget that. And we finished just the one quest, like the opening quest, to head out to the dredge station and grab the uh, weird steering wheel of the, uh, of the dredging ship. So, we picked up a lot of guns off some dead zombies. And I think it's about time that we repaired these up. And we also grabbed the uh, the tools from the sawmill for car dam. So we have some basic tools which you can use to upgrade our gear a little bit more. Which will be handy. I'm not quite confident continuing with like the other ones I'd normally do at this stage. Mainly for you guys because the game can be pretty dark. And without a night vision set, it's going to be real bad. So I'm sort of holding off on uh, the night missions and stuff for now until I get a helmet. They brought you some tools. Nice, which ones? The ones for basic work. Cool. Now I just need tools for fine work and calibration. Uh, now, here's the thing with Cardan. So he's got a pretty serious case of alcoholism. So uh, if you look here... With basic tools, you should be able to get the first row. And then, fine tools, you get the second row. Calibration tools, you get the third. Well, not row. Column. Column, my bad. But you'll see here, <clears throat> if we go down, it says, Cannot be installed. The technician needs vodka. So, Cardan actually needs vodka to do his repairs. Because he's such an alcoholic. He, like, can't function without Here's to a steady hand. And a steady hand, as he uh, figures. So, you actually have to... Give him alcohol before you can get upgrades done. Which in the long run can be not expensive, but a bit of a pain in the ass. But there is a way you can uh, get rid of that. So we're just going to take all these first level upgrades because we can. Uh, and all these guns will be sold. Hopefully we can get a decent enough price for it and it should be able to cover the cost of actually repairing them. Which I think we will. It should be fine. Do -do -do -do. So, you got anything new? Right, we don't need these detectors either, because we've already got one of those. Okay, so what ammo do we need to get rid of? Uh, that's our ammo. So we got okay, that uses that. That is 9x18, which we don't need. That is 9x39. Ooh, he's actually got some decent gear today. Sunrise bodysuit and gas mask. Interesting. So that obviously changed when I loaded up the game. Because I'm pretty sure he didn't have that last time. Okay, so this is all 5x45, yeah, which we don't need. Don't need that. I think that's about everything, right? Yeah, but we might actually just grab... Ooh, if we can afford it. Hang on. Well, we're definitely going to want a gas mask. So that's dumb. Like, that that's a guarantee. And we can also afford a sunrise bodysuit, and I think we do get that. Which kind of sucks because we just spent some money, like... Upgrading the trench coat, but it's going to be worth it. Especially if we start getting some artifacts, because I don't believe, don't believe the trench coat could take any artifact slots. In fact, it couldn't. We we saw the upgrade path; it didn't have any. Um. Okay. We'll see you later. I guess we'll talk to Carden again and spend some more money to upgrade our suit. Okay, so we get some more armor, lower body weight, which is good, because at the moment this weighs 5, and we can drop that to 1.5. Nice. What does it actually do? Fabric, clips, and thickeners are replaced with lighter synthetic materials to reduce armor weight. Nifty. Unfortunately, the gas mask cannot get a night vision device, which kind of sucks, but it's still the most obvious, like, next step up before we, uh, before we worry about no, getting something with no. night vision. Yes. We don't need radio protection. <clears throat> Sorry. Don't need radio protection. I'll try not to sound like a like a prepubescent boy. Prepubescent girl even. Uh, so we'll just sell that stuff. We don't need twenty bandages, it's a bit excessive. Good. I don't think Beard is gonna have anything useful to us. Hello. What the is left I uh, no, just food. But we can sell off some of this stuff. We don't need eight eight uh bread. So we'll just do something like that. Alright. 
Let's get some sleep because at the moment it is uh, 8. You can see in the like under the mini map there. So we're going to sleep until 8. You know, we're going to get a solid 12 hours sleep because we're going to have a big day tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. I think what we're going to do for a sort of early early mission. Okay, let's actually eat an MRE, I think. There we go. Is we are going to go and get that that uh, container thing from over here. The the stash. Yeah, the unreachable stash. That's what we're going to take. Hello. Uh, yeah, sorry. Hang on. I'll holster it in a minute. I'll, I'll holster it in a second. Just let me reload it first. <laughs> Alright. This needs reloads as well. This is because we put upgrades on them. So what do we got here? What can we see? What do our elf eyes see? Lots of dead bodies. Oop. Okay, a couple of fleshes over there. Anything else as we scan the horizon? Ooh. That's a stalker in aggro mode. What's he fighting? What are you fighting? There's something over there that's bad. Looks like a zombie. I only saw sort of like a glimpse of it, but it seems like a zombie to me. You guys are fighting something as well. Ah, bandits. Don't think we're going to get involved in that. It, it'd be too much of a diversion. Don't think it's really necessary for us to be over there. So let's keep on moving. Uh, we'll take your rifle, though. Your AK-74. He doesn't need it anymore. Alright. So let's keep moving onwards. You can see on our minimap we have an arrow telling us where to go. Which is past this sort of stranded, like, tanker. And we need to go up that way towards the weird tree you can kind of see on the horizon. I'm just going to wait a minute and let it sort out all the spawns. This game is really unstable and choppy, which is really unfortunate, because it's a damn good game. Ooh, something sees me, but I don't see something. I see a bandit up there. Who appears to be in a spot of bother. Yep, he did. Alright, they seem to be just... Racking off? Okay. <clears throat> Guess we'll just head up here. God, this shotgun is good. It's borderline cheating to use this, uh... To use this hunting shotgun. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, angry dog. Is that more bandits over there? They don't look like stalkers. Oh no, they are. They're just really shitty stalkers. Oh look, they're even using the hunting shotgun. Bless their heart. <laughs> Bless their heart, they're actually trying. Okay, I'm gonna take that as well. We're gonna get pretty loaded down here, but that should be okay. Now, we just had some sort of uh, weird crashy thing. Hope it hasn't affected my recording again, like, uh, like episode one. I thought I fixed it. Obviously, it needs a bit more thought. But anyway, there's a little stash in there which we can grab. Ugh. Squeeze out of here. There we go. And then we're going to head up here to actually pick up the, the, the box stash. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, normally there's something bad up here. And there continues to be that. Is that a bloodsucker? Yep, you can see him just there. I'm gonna save it. Bloodsuckers are really dangerous in Master Stalker. I really want a clear shot on him. Like, I'm pretty confident I can kill him. But even so... Probably best to get the jump on him. I think I got him. 
Stay away from the radiation. You can hear the old Geiger counter tick tick ticking away. Oh, I got that one. What is that over there? Oh right, that's that'll be our next stop after after the old stash here. So this is actually going to be really hard to do with uh, our inventory loaded down like this. And that's a problem. Oh, right, because we changed out for the Sunrise bodysuit, so we lost that extra 5 kilos of carry weight. Ugh. Did not consider that. Oh, hang on. We also have two people nearby. Oh, it's probably just the... Never mind. It's probably just the stalkers down the uh, down bottom. That makes sense. Because now, if I sprint... Gotta turn the light on. It's gonna run out super duper 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 quickly. Yeah, see, it looks just like that. One jump cost us our whole stamina gauge. And I could use a Hercules, but I get the feeling I'm gonna need it later. So we might just have to very carefully make our way down here. I'm gonna drink some booze to get rid of this. Radiation poisoning, because that's what you do in real life, you know, just, uh, you just get yourself a bit soused up and you're fine. Ooh. God, I am terrified of every single one of these jumps now. God, so much recovery time. So it will be pretty dark down here, but I'm kind of hoping... I'm hoping that because it's so enclosed, like, the, the flashlight will actually be able to light things up. When it's out in the open, like, at night, it's, yeah, it's a bit harder to light up an area. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, I think so. There's one over there, I believe. Okay, so I can get away with it as long as I jump before the, uh, before the thing runs out. So let's go here. I'll probably just jump straight down there, right? Ugh, maybe not. Might be a bit risky. Might do the full jump across. I'll, I'll quick save it first. Okay, no, that's, that's an easy jump. Piece of cake. And we're nearly at the bottom. You can see the car. You, you might be able to just make it out down there. Obviously, I can see it. <clears throat> but YouTube tends to darken things a bit. For whatever reason. So you may not be able to see it just yet. But I promise it's there. Promise. Yeah, you gotta make it over there. There you go. Now you'll be able to see it for sure. So there's the car with the uh, with the box we have to get in the in the boot. In the trunk, if you're an American. We call it a boot. Don't know why. Don't know why uh, Americans call it a trunk. Don't know why. I think... They call it a boot in England as well, I believe. It might be a British thing. <clears throat> Probably is. Alright, well, here's the dangerous bit, though. As you recall... Yeah, see, so it actually weighed us down so much we can't move. I figured we'd need the Hercules, and if push comes to shove, we'll dump some uh, guns. But as you recall, this is a Snork Den. Whew. Hunting shotgun, don't fail me now. So, we have to sort of escape from this snork den. And I can never remember which way to actually go. Is it this way? Yeah, I think this is the right way. And there's a lot of snorks in here that want me dead. Oh, something's spotting me a bit. Let's go this way instead. Surprisingly, they don't all come out of the woodworks from the noise, actually. <sighs> Nerves of steel. Nerves of steel. I think we're nearly out. I, th I think it's up here. Jesus Christ. I'll be honest. Forgot that guy smashes around a corner like that. Actually, he probably doesn't always do that. Now. Are we good? Okay, we seem pretty good. 
Although there's apparently two people out here. You can see that by the little two on the mini map. Be good. Alright. Got him. Okay, no, they're friendly. You can see them over this way. Maybe we can sell them something to, to lighten us up a bit. Uh, what, what are you up to? What does it look like I'm doing? Just Not a damn thing. Okay, let's just trade. Ah, uh, you'll take the sawn off. You only have 300 bucks, though. Can we just... Uh, I don't know about money. That's kind of annoying. What if we buy this and then sell that? Yeah, that <laughs> Привезли как-то одного из чинов в зону. Oh. Wow, I've never found that stash before. I just, I don't know what made me look there. It's like a, I saw an orange glint. And I'm like, that's not right. Nothing's orange. Anyway, we're going to hit this anomaly as well while we're here. Okay, this seems fairly safe. Oh, I think I saw it. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, let's get out of the radiation. That's real bad. Can you go this way? Oh, it must be up there. Oh, that's right. That's right. This normally has one that's like up above. Uh, I'm gonna have to climb up. I think we can go this way. Yeah, this one seems safe. What about that one? Oh, that one's probably too steep anyway. Alright. This one's pretty safe. It's only gravitational anomalies which are pretty easy to distinguish. There's a bit of radiation as well, but... You're, you're near Chernobyl power plant. What doesn't have radiation? Okay, so you can't go that way. We have to go in here. Ugh. Okay, made it. Made it. Must be behind it. Yep, there it is. I got a jellyfish. Actually, that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna just drop off here a bit. Alright. And I'll just quick save real fast, and then we'll see about these artifacts. So we got a jellyfish, which is excellent. Uh, yeah, it just reduces radiation. That's what I thought it did. And a stone flower. Side protection. That's kind of trash. We'll probably get rid of that. We don't, uh, we don't need that at all completely unnecessary. The one we would like to get is the one that reduces the... Oh, sorry. Increases your carry weight. Also, we're pretty badly uh, radiated here. Alright, now there's... While we're here, there is one more thing I want to get. And there's a quest we can get over here at that fire thing I saw before. Which uh, is a really handy one. Also, our health's a bit low. Let's first aid kit off. We're a little bit drunk, you can see. We're like wiggling a little. We're swaying just a smidge. I shouldn't stop like that, because we really need to uh, we need to keep moving before this Hercules wears off and locks me in place. <laughs> like, like that! <laughs> like, like that. Uh, okay, so we need to get rid of something. Uh, how much do we need to get rid of? Well, we need to get rid of 10 kilos. Holy shit. How much does that weigh? 12. Okay, fair enough then. Okay, we don't need the sawn off. We're probably going to end up dumping literally all these weapons that we just grabbed. Because what do we got here? 0 0.9, 1 0.28, 0 0.95. I guess we could just drop the ammo. Right? Like, we don't need the ammo. It doesn't really help us, does it? Oh no, we're still 59. Okay, we might just dump all of these weapons and stuff, which kind of sucks. Yeah, so that's enough. <laughs> Just leave that in a pile there. Now, if we're lucky and we have enough stuff for this quest... Ooh, I don't like the dogs over there. They might attack us when we try to come in. Which would be really annoying. So over here, you can see... I should have pointed this out. There's some guys up here. There's one there. So there's some mercenaries over here that... Uh, they're not friendly with you, but they don't attack you either. 
Now, you can make them friendly if you complete the quest. But if you try and go in without their approval, there you go. They, they like, stop you first, and then they, they will attack. <clears throat> You're not welcome here. This is our camp, and you've got no business prowling around it. My boys are too starved and high-strung as it is. They could bring you some food. Ha! Okay, you do that. Canned meat, sausage, and bread. Six of each. Make sure to bring enough to go around, because we're hungry as shit. Oh, we do have enough. Here is the food. <clears throat> wow, I lost all hope. Thanks, this will make a nice lunch for the guys. Listen, if you wanted to check out the area, go ahead. Just quit waving that shooter around. I kind of said, what is it, six of each, but we only lost four rations and two smoked sausage. Fair enough. So now we can go in. And actually, that might have dropped off our weight a little bit. Uh, not enough. Probably we can pick up, like, the pistols again. But there is something important here that we need. Well, that we want. Probably not need. Need is a strong word. The wrong word for this. But we can help ourselves to anything that's around here. Which, there isn't that much. I thought there was more. Hmm. Ah, that's, that's the thing we need. So, tools for fine work. Boom. So, in one episode... Ooh, Hercules, yes. And some medkits and stuff. That's really nifty. Is there anything behind here? No. I thought there was like a stash there, but... Probably wrong. I play Misery in this game so much that... I barely remember where the vanilla stuff is anymore. Like, I know basic tools... Basic tools here, obviously, in the sawmill. I know this is the fine tools. I don't remember where the calibration tools are. They could be at the Iron Forest, or they could be over here. It's like, I don't remember where anything is down here. I want to say basic tools for down here. I want to say... I want to say basic tools are, like in here, in the Volkov AA complex, and fine tools are, like, out here? It's probably wrong, though. It's probably wrong. Maybe they're in the, the, the cement factory. And it's possible that calibration tools are all in Pripyat. I don't remember if that's a misery thing, or that's a base game thing. But I know for sure in one of them that, like, all of your calibration tools, you just cannot get them until you get to Pripyat, because they unlock some of the most powerful upgrades to gear that you can get. Uh, we'll just leave those guns there, I think. It's probably not worth us. Uh, we do have a Hercules now. Nah, stop it. We're, we're grabbing them. I was going to say it's not worth it, like, busting our ass to get over there, but we do have Hercules now, so... Right. Nom 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 nom. And we will just Hercules on. Oh, strong! Good Russian steroids. I <laughs> shouldn't joke about that. <clears throat> the uh, classic, classic Russian doping scandal. I'm part of it now. I guess I'm Ukrainian. Doesn't count. It's not the same. You guys, the same guys before? Yeah, he's still friendly. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I guess we just go for a long run back to. Skadovsk. Skadovsk? The Skadovsk? I guess Skadovsk could be the name of, like, the fort that they've made out of the tanker's remains, or it could be the actual name of the tanker. What is that one called? Shevchenko. Right, that's it. Oop. Weather's changing. You can see the fog rolling in. It's really foggy out that way now. It'll get real foggy in this area. We've kind of avoided it so far, I think. Which is damn fine by me. Honestly, there's only one thing more dangerous than... Ooh, that's a zombie there. The night time in this game, and that's fog. Yeah, that's a zombie for sure. We'll just uh, give him a little pop. There we go. Put him out of his misery. I'm sure he didn't want to be a zombie. And now he isn't anymore. Wait, is there something over? No, that's just like the, the boat. It looks weird on the mini-map. Ooh, AKS-74. You. 
So AKS-74U, pretty sure that's a submachine gun variant. <clears throat> that's what you start with in the in the normal game, if you don't have... Probably Arsenal Overhaul's doing it, I think. Yeah, I think if you have Arsenal Overhaul, you start with the, the sawn off. I'm just going to chill out for a minute and let it spawn things. There we go. It's going to happen a lot. Get used to it. Thankfully, like... <clears throat> Wow, my voice, though. Got a bit of clunge in my throat. Fortunately, like, a lot of the game takes place pretty far away from, like, civilization and heavy, heavy stalker spawns. But, uh, sometimes, you know, you gotta get back to, gotta get back to a base to sell your stuff or pick up new gear or whatever. And that's where the game just has a bad time. And Pripyat's pretty dense, too, actually. It's mainly because Pripyat's a lot smaller than the other two areas. A lot more interesting, for sure, like the tall buildings and everything, really, really cool. Pripyat's the only part that's like an actual ruined city. Everything else, like the other games, is all like open, sort of like this. But uh, I'll give you a look once I get back into Skadovsk. So it's kind of multiple ways you can play the game. Actually, hang on, I'll finish my current thought first. So like, you can see Skadovsk. You can kind of see the borders of it, because you can see that it gets, like, more fuzzy out here, so the border's kind of like that-ish. You know, you can see, like, this is all really oddly specific. Like, if I zoom in, it's a lot more obvious. You can see it gets really blurry and crap. So that's kind of where the borders are of the map, where you can't go anywhere past that. So you can see, like, Skadovsk... Uh, sorry, this is Skadovsk. It's called Zaton, I believe. Yeah. Pretty big. Uh, Yanov, or the area around Jupiter, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, it's called Yanov because it's like Yanov stations in the middle and that's your main base, so you generally just call it Yanov. But uh, you can see like it's pretty big too, it kind of goes like that. Whereas Pripyat, yeah, you can see it's just like, just a little squidgy bit here. It's about, I don't know, two thirds of the size of the other areas. But it's way more dense. Oh wow, the fog must have really picked up. Hang on, let's go outside to see that. Yeah, look at that. You just can't see anything coming in that fog. It's not fun. Not fun at all. Anyway, as I was saying, there's kind of two ways to play this game, like hey, there is with everything that. else. How are you? you know, you can kind of... ...betray other stalkers and like, just kill everyone you see and really play it like um. you against the world type thing. And, and play it that way if you want. You won't make any friends, and the game's kind of, like, easier and harder at the same time. I'm just going to repair this off as I talk. But, because uh, obviously it's a lot easier because you can get the gear off the people you kill. If you're good at the game and you're good at killing people, it's a pretty good option. You'll make a lot of money, the game becomes really easy, but a challenge because you're going to constantly fight people. Whereas... You can play it sort of really nice, which is what I'm going to go for, where, like, uh, I'm not going to let my humanity... Oh god, my, uh... My Hercules just stopped because I stuffed around too much. Okay, can I still talk to Carden? No. Okay, we'll just dump off the guns. Okay, that should just let me walk. Um, yeah, you can play it nice, but, like, you don't let your humanity get sucked away by the zone. You know, you're still a man. You're still a good person. So that's the way I'm playing it. However... There is something I know about Snag that you guys don't, and uh, that is that he's a bit of a dick and a bit of a douche. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to ask Carden if he can break into the steel container. So instead of like bringing it back to Snag and letting him open it, we're just going to break into it. That's a cinch. Top service for only 500. Sorry, can you break into a steel container? That's a cinch. Top service for only 500 dollars. Here. So you can see we got all this stuff out of it now. A little tip that if you take it back to Snag, he will open it, and then he kind of like, all the items in here he goes through like one at a time. I think he goes through the Fort 12, Medical Supplies, the AK-74, Soul, and Steel Helmet. I don't remember which, which order they come in. But uh, he basically goes through them and he goes like, Oh, this is, you know, he pulls out like the Fort 12 and he's like, This is my shooter, like I use this to kill many a dog, good quality sidearm. It's like, I want to keep this. And you can either, for all of the options, you can say, like, no, I think that should be mine. Or you can go, yeah, yeah, keep it. Like, I don't want it. But you can't just say yes for everything. I think he lets you take one or two items. And then after that, he just says, like, no, everything else belongs to me. So, 
if if that's one of the first quests you do, you might see like the Fort 12 and the AKS-74 and you're just like, yeah, because I think they come out first. Or the scientific med kit. Or oh, sorry, the, the like medical supplies. He, he might go like, oh, look at all these medical supplies, like a big thing, and you're like, oh wow, I do need some med kits. And you go, yeah, and then he goes, oh, here's an AKS-74, and you're like, sweet. But then you miss out on the soul and steel helmet. Like, the soul is pretty good. Um, steel helmet, meh, you can do without it, they're kind of alright. We'll probably use it because I believe it has night vision? I guess we'll find out, but anyway, while we're here, I brought you tools. Nice, which ones? The ones for fine work. Great, now just some calibration tools and I'm good. Alright, we will do that in a minute, we'll just go and sell this stuff first, I think. Ah, uh, right, because we've got all the stuff out of the box. So we'll sell this crap first, so we don't need that, we don't well need this, done. we don't need that. A statue? If you got something, spill the beans. If not, take a hike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep Steel Helmet. It's really good armor and really good psi protection. Well, apparently not as good as the gas mask, that's weird. You can upgrade the psi protection on the Steel Helmet, though. It's pretty much all it's good for. Okay, so let's sell all this other ammo that we don't really need, like this stuff. We'll sell that first. Uh, he's back to crap stocks. Uh, so you're going to give me 2400 Now you can sell them to Owl or you can sell them to Beard. And I don't know who gives you better prices for artifacts. I know guns you can only sell to Owl. So that's why I'm selling all these guns to him. We got 4000 now. Don't let the door. Let's go see what... Beard will give us with the stone flower. So we get 2400 from the other guy. Okay, and we get 2400 here anyway, so might as well just sell it. We'll knock this down to like 10, and that can be 5 as well. Okay. Now, what does a soul do again? Uh, health restoration. That's actually really handy. And it makes 2 radiation, but we actually lose 2 radiation from the jellyfish. So we can slap that on right now. So it can be handy, like we've talked about in the first game, like it can be handy to have some, uh, like some spare radiation that you can absorb. It's so like you can have, you might have one that's like negative four that's and you only have artifacts you on the equator. You're suffering from radiation sickness. You good? Okay. The, that equate to like negative two, so you have a negative two spare. Which can be really good because that just passively burns off radiation over time. Yes, of course. Goodbye. See? Even uh, Tremor agrees. But generally you can just afford to like keep it balanced. Keep keep it even. You never want to go over because that's just constant radiation you take all the time. Like you cost a fortune in anti-rads and stuff like that. Unless you're only going to put them on for a short time. If you like know there's a heavy battle coming up, I guess you can chuck on like health restorations and stuff just, just for that battle. But I feel it's pretty dangerous. Like you're going to accidentally irradiate yourself so heavily that you just don't notice your health tanking. But anyway, let's booze up Carden and do some mid-level upgrades, and that's where we'll uh, Here's to a steady hand. Here's to a steady hand indeed, Carden. I think for the level 2 upgrades we need to give him 2, so we'll just do that. Here's to a good day's work. Well, I mean, feel free to drink it. It takes you so long. Like he just necks a bottle. Uh, oh, too bad my buddies Joker and Barge aren't here. We'd have a hell of a time. We were like brothers, always got each other's backs. How did it all come to this? I'm still here, but they're gone hell knows where. Tell me about Joker and Barge. Yeah, I came to Zaton with two of my buddies, Barge and Joker. Young kids, full of piss and vinegar. Itching to get their hands on mountains of artifacts, dying to be the first, the fastest. And I looked at those burning eyes and I said to myself, that ain't gonna do them no good. Well, it's nice to have, sure, but it ain't worth charging headlong into a mutant's jaws. So what happened? Well, we were hanging out one night, drinking and started arguing over what to do next. Should we go? Should we go on or stay? And if we go, where to? Everyone's sticking to his gun, standing pat. Things got pretty heated and when the argument was over, we all went our own way. Me included. I told them they ain't seen life yet some other unpleasant things. Man, if only I could see them again. I would say I'm sorry for what I said then. We'd hang out together like before and remember the good old times. 
I can pass along your apologies onto your buddies if I run into them. That would be good. So now we have a new quest to find out Barge and Joker's fates. Or, like, find them and or their fates if they didn't make it. Now, yes, okay, so this does have night vision. Excellent, we will do that. We'll upgrade the psi protection since that's basically all it's good for. And this one will upgrade the radiation protection. Okay, so what do we got here? We can increase our weight carry by 10 or health restoration by 2. Ooh. We'll come back to that. Thermal protection or chemical electrical. Okay, I have a rule of thumb, and I think I've said this in one of the other games. Chemical and electrical protection is good, but a better way to avoid chemical and electrical damage is just don't stand in fucking electrical and chemical anomalies. Um, most chemical anomalies have like a really low level poison field, which doesn't do a lot of damage. Like chemical damage is pretty slow, unless you stand in one of like the fruit burst anomalies or whatever they're called. Uh, electrical protection is completely unnecessary. Um, like most electrical anomalies do a shit ton of damage anyway, and no matter how much reduction you get, it's still gonna hurt, so just don't stand in them. Um, thermal protection on the other hand, like most thermal anomalies have really heavy auras of thermal damage, so can always be good to pick up thermal protection. Now what do we got here? Suturability impact negation. Uh, now, I don't exactly know how impact negation works. I believe that's like, reduces damage that doesn't penetrate the armor. It's like, rupture damage is... No, that is impact negation, which is rupture damage. Okay, so it's like, the higher your impact negation, the less chance you're going to get a bleeding hit. It just like, hits the armor and does damage, right? Whereas, if it, pe if it goes beyond the impact negation, you'll get hit and start bleeding, which can be really bad. So we can do that, or we can do suit durability, but I think we do impact negation. Because we're never going to be that far away from a, like, a, a repair. Unless we stay up for a really long time, that, that should be fine. And down here I want to say weight carried, because we can always just take artifacts for health restoration. And in my experience, the health restoration from, like, this is never particularly helpful. So we're going to take weight carried up. Uh, now, for the shotgun, right. So what do we got here? We have muzzle velocity or recoil. I think we do recoil. Muzzle velocity is nice and all, but whoop de do. You know, we don't really need that. So we'll just take recoil. Now, the top level of this is handling. So there's a big difference between handling and recoil, which is kind of funny. Um, recoil is how much the, like, reticle expands and how much the gun jumps. Like, how, how high it jumps. Handling is when you're aiming down the sight, how long it takes your gun to readjust to where it was before. So, like, if you shoot, it goes bang, shoots up in the air, and then slowly comes back down to where it was before. Minus a little bit of, like, movement due to recoil. So, really high-handling weapons, they might have massive recoil, but they go back to normal really fast. So, it can be really helpful, but generally recoil is, is the better option. Uh, and we could upgrade accuracy by 30%, which is pretty good. But then we can't use Buckshot, which is really shit. Um, slugs are fine and all, but they're not good for killing mutants. You're basically turning this into a sniper. Um, or like a musket, I guess. Like a really, really, really well-aimed musket. Now, I'm going to do recoil here. Uh, we'll do recoil. Because that'll give us, what, 20%, 20%? So 60% less recoil. That's crazy. Now... The AKM. I think we're going to turn this into like a DMR type deal. So we could upgrade fire rate, but in Stalker I've always found that it's way more important to have like an accurate hard hitting weapon than one that shoots a lot of bullets. And we'll just put this on for now. Oh wow, that night vision does sweet FA. I guess if you like turn the light on, yeah okay, no, big difference there. Fair enough. So we'll use this for the time being. Uh, I won't sell the gas mask. I'll just hang on to it. It only weighs, what, one kilo? Eh, that's that's nothing. We'll be fine with that. But anyway, I think we're going to leave this episode here. Seems like a good place to stop. So we got a lot done. And uh, there, we've got a lot more to do in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. 
If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, you want to clarify something I said in the video in terms of like the actual stalker lore or anything like that, you guys know by now, if you're like a veteran of the channel or you're new, I love to hear from you guys. Like, I, I want you guys to be engaged with the channel. I'm not just making videos for only my benefit. Obviously, all my videos are made for you guys. So if there's anything I can do to make it more entertaining, um, if there's anything you want me to change, like within reason, um, I'm always happy to hear it. And I try to reply as quickly as I can. So anyway, if there's anything like that, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below so that I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.